Okay, hello everyone. Today we are going to be using Langchain to talk to a YouTube video, to ask a YouTube video questions. And we're going to do two things differently than the past videos. We're going to be using JavaScript or the Langchain TypeScript JavaScript flavor. And we're going to be storing the embeddings for the text in the YouTube video in the cloud. We're not going to store them locally. And let me make myself smaller here. We're going to be the, the place we're going to store those embeddings in the cloud is Supabase, which is a service that uh, I use for auth and for database and for all kinds of stuff. And we're going to be using JavaScript Langchain. So it kind of makes sense to use uh, JavaScript or TypeScript if you're, if you're going to build a full app in that language, right? So why not? So let's try out the Langchain JavaScript and Supabase as a vector store. So as I said, we're going to talk to a YouTube video. The first thing we need to do is get the transcript of that video and set up Supabase to um, allow us to, to do these vector searches. So we have to use this extension. And this is a couple, this was from February, this blog post from Supabase. But I'm going to go over to the Langchain docs for the TypeScript, uh, JavaScript Langchain, and just use those instructions, OK? So the first thing you'll do is grab all of this. We're setting up Supabase now to be able to accept our embeddings. You could do this with Pinecone. You could do this with any other sort of vector store. That's fine. We're going to grab all of this, copy it, and then go to your Supabase. OK? What I did here is I went to Supabase, and you're going to go to the SQL editor. And I've already done this. OK? And you're going to paste everything in here. Now let's take a look at what this does. There's a couple things it does, and we don't have to go too in depth. But as we said, it's going to use the extension. Uh, PG vector, okay, that's going to enable us to work with embeddings in Supabase. Then we're going to create a table called documents with a couple of attributes to um, store the embeddings. And we're going to create a function in Supabase. And you can just uh, copy this and do it, or you could do it manually, create the function if you're more comfortable with that. And then an index for faster querying. Okay, you're going to take all of that, bring it into your um, Supabase console thing here, SQL editor, and just run this. I've already done it, so I'm not going to rerun it. But um, you'll basically just select it all and press Shift or Command and Enter. Okay, And then you'll have all of this created. I'll go over to the table editor, and I will see that I have a documents table ready to accept data. Okay, The second thing we need to do is we're going to talk to a YouTube video. How the heck are we going to do that? Well, we're going to grab the transcript. And I've built a tool. I did a 24-hour challenge where I built a sort of an AI tool. And um, it's free. You can use it. And it's called SuperVid. And all you're going to do is, um, what it's going to do is it's going to convert your video into a blog post. But we don't need the blog post part. We just need the transcript, which I do with OpenAI Whisper, by the way. So I'm going to do it on this video that I've already watched of a pizza review. I'm not going to play it because I'll get copyrighted. But you're going to basically take that uh, URL. You're going to go to share, copy the URL, take it over to supervid.cc or any other sort of transcriber and just get the transcript. And you're going to paste it in here and start. And I've already gotten the transcript, right? So that's fine. I don't need to wait for this. Um, if you have any issues with OpenAI or this doesn't move after a couple minutes, it's probably because the OpenAI API is down or something. But you should be able to get the transcript after. OK, next step is I'm going to go right over to my term or my editor here. And I've already created a document okay, with this in it. And it's called pizzareview.txt. OK, has the transcript of the pizza review. Let's go see if it's done. It's on step three, so it's not done yet. But in the meantime, um, I can just go over what's going on here. OK, so we're going to need a couple things from Langchain. We're going to need the uh, conversational retrieval QA chain. OK, and Langchain is amazing, right, because it creates all these building blocks that you can use. And we actually don't even need to do much from scratch. They've already created a conversational retrieval QA chain. Oh, here's the transcript, by the way. But let's go over to that chain in Langchain. OK, it builds on the retrieval QA chain, great, a QA chain, but provides a chat history component. It's not necessary unless you want to go full chatbot. For this tutorial, we're not going to, but um, we're going to use it anyway. And um, what we're going to do is basically set up two steps that you need to use with uh, with Superbase or any sort of vector store to store embeddings, create them and store them, and then to retrieve them after and inject them into your original query. So let's go over and check out our editor after we've uh, looked at taken a look at the conversational QA chain. And I'll post these docs in the description. You can check them out. Um, let's 
go back. And so let me make this a bit bigger too. We're going to take that QA chain. We're going to take the uh, vector store from um, Superbase and um, create embeddings with OpenAI. We're going to need the text splitter from Langchain. Um, I want to use the chat model. So we're going to open it, uh, import chat OpenAI and the Super, Superbase um, SDK, right? So you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need Langchain, OpenAI, Superbase, and API keys for all of those, right? And a transcript, of course. Now, I set up all the environment variables, the API keys, and we're going to move on to our big function here, okay? Or the main function, the one that creates the embeddings. Now, let's take a look at, um, not Langchain here, but there is a document that I want to look at, retrieval, okay? Now, Langchain is in flux. It's a new library that both the Python and the JavaScript uh, libraries change often. They're changing as we speak. So they added this new thing a couple weeks, a week or two ago, where you can use um, this. Might you might see some different things in some tutorials. Instead of seeing vector db qa in places, you're going to start seeing this um, as retriever functionality. As where is it? Um, Superbase vector store. Come on. You're going to be seeing these um, vector stores with functions um, or methods on them that allow you to, to work with these outside vector stores. Okay, so if you see some confusing stuff around this, that's fine. Just know that this library is constantly changing. So um, we're going to use, I think it's this one, conversational retrieval QA chain. Is that it? Right, to do this. Anyway, let's go back. And you can always ask me on Twitter or we can try to figure it out together. Tyler, what's good with an underscore? Because again, I'm still learning too. So the main function we're going to look at here is the create embeddings function, okay? We're going to read the file up, and then we're going to create chunks. Now, normally the chunks with the recursive character text splitter from Langchain. Normally these chunks um, are, I think 4,000 is the regular, and they have an overlap of like 1,000 or something, or 200, I forget. But anyway, just for the sake of this, because the transcript for this video isn't very long, it's only a, let's go see how long is this video, four minute video. Um, I just chunked it up just to, so we could see some embeddings in the UI. We're going to split them up and create documents. And then we're going to use the Superbase vector store that we imported from Langchain, the from documents method, pass in the documents, the uh, sort of embeddings engine, if you will, OpenAI, and then these three things. So we're going to pass in the Superbase client, which we um, instantiated here excuse me, the name of the table and the name of the uh, function that we created in Superbase called match documents, excuse me. Let's go ahead and take a look, make sure that matches up. Um, no, where is that? Superbase. So that's the, here it is. So this is all in the um, docs on Langchain. So if you want to check it out, you can. Let's go back here. and create these embeddings. Okay, so our embeddings table is empty right now. Um, oh, also at the end of this, we're actually going to ask it. So this is a, I think I've mentioned it, but it's a pizza review video, right? So after we create the embeddings and store them in Superbase, we're going to go ahead and ask, what did he rate the pizza? This is the bar stool guy and he's gonna rate the pizza. And here, let me go over this line 46. We're gonna create the chain from the, from the model Okay, and um, actually, I just realized I used two different chains here. That's fine. For creating them and asking this question, we're going to use the retrieval QA chain. And then the next function, which is just querying, I'm going to use the conversational retrieval QA chain. doesn't really matter. You can use whichever one you want. Um, but here's something interesting that we, we want to remember. I mentioned the uh, vector store as retriever thing. Check out that blog post from Langchain. I'll put it in the description. Um, but you're going to want to do this syntax, okay? So you're going to pass in the model or the, the, the language model and uh, the vector store and use it as a retriever, okay? And then what did he rate the pizza? So let's go ahead and run this. Pull up a terminal here. Clear that. Great. And we're going to do node retrieval QA. Now, remember, we're only going to run the first function, which is create embeddings. I have the second function commented out. Okay, create embeddings is the main one. This is all we need to worry about for now. I'm running that, and it's going to create the embeddings, 
from OpenAI, store them, and then, ooh, it already answered, and then give me back the answer. So when you ask it the question, the way embeddings work, and we've talked about this before, but let's go over it again, um, or at least when you do these sort of QA bots, you're creating, let's go into this, this is not the best one, but it's pretty, illustrates the point. We're gonna take the chat, um, the question here, look for questions that are similar. It's gonna create an embedding for those. Look for questions that are similar uh, in the in space, in the vector store. Put them together with the question and then give it to the language model and then give you the answer. So it's, it's kind of giving the language model some context. Adds the, the, rel the relevant vectors, uh, the relevant embeddings into the question and uses that whole thing as context for the language model. So we've gotten 7.8 back. Now let's see if we um, we asked it, how did he rate the pizza? Or what did he rate the pizza? And I've seen the video, so I know that's right. Let's try to, um, actually, I'm not going to try it again. I'm going to move over right to the next step, which is to just query it. Now we've created the embeddings. Let's go and check Superbase to see if they're created. I'm going to go here. And I'd call this table um, talk to bills because I was going to, I was taking documents from the government um, government bills and stuff in Congress and asking them questions because they're very difficult to parse through. So as you can see, uh, we have the embeddings here and it's the transcript basically turned into chunks and the embeddings are these vectors, right? Great. Now um, there is a metadata f uh, field here, which, you know, I, th I think I'm doing something wrong here that this may need to have some data for some sort of conversational chain or something, but We'll, we'll figure that out later. For now, I think this seems to work. Um, what we're going to do now is just query it, okay? So we're going to instantiate a new chat bot or a new chat language model, a new chat model, GPT 3.5 Turbo, pass in the uh, OpenAI key, instantiate our vector store. And again, remember, we're not... Uh, this vector store is creating the embeddings. This one is just going to query. So from existing index, super base vector store from existing index, passing the embeddings engine, which is going to turn the query that the question that we're going to give it into an embedding. Um, and then this data here, the super base client table and the function. Now we're going to use the conversational retrieval QA chain, which is different than the one before. We're going to pass in the chat model vector store as retriever and I want to know the documents it's using as reference so I'm going to use this flag here the return source documents as true and the query oh, is empty so what did he rate the pizza okay it's going to go and look in the embeddings answer this and we are also going to add a follow-up question which is very cool um, you can use memory and stuff for this, but we're doing a simple uh, memory from Langchain, but we're doing a simple version here where we're going to just take the query, add the response text field. So if you look here in our first response, we have response.text. We're going to add that up with the query and then ask another question. The question I'm going to ask is, um, you know, how was the char on the pizza, right? Let's see what comes up. So we're going to ask it, what did he rate it? Which we know is 7.8. And how was the char? And print that all out. Let's go and check that out. Whoops. It's not actually running anything because we didn't uncomment the query function. So here we go. OK, it answered the first question. OK, he rated the pizza 7.8. The char in the pizza was the burnt and charred spots that were intentionally cooked on the pizza by the chef. OK, great. We've returned four documents, and what I want to try to do is maybe, we don't really need to expand them, but I'm going to just to see. So it's source documents. So it's res source documents. So um, da -da 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 -da, where would that be? Console logging the response, and then console logging the chat history, which is this. I don't want to do this. I want to do uh, console log res dot source documents. Let's see what happens here. Run it one more time. Okay, so as you can see, you get the context back. And I guess it's four by default, um, which is interesting. I thought it was two. But we see we get them back, which is cool. And now we can know where the thing is getting the information that it's answering the question with from. And it's sort of putting that into the prompt and then asking the question again. Um, so here's the documents it's using. It's using its finding char, which in space, it's finding words that are kind of close to each other. And that's it.
So we've used Superbase to um, store the vectors in the cloud. We've used Langchain to create a chain that looks up these vectors. First of all, creates them and then looks them up. And if you were to build a full-on app in JavaScript, you could build, put these tools in or put these two little functions in to do all kinds of stuff, right? And then move them further with Langchain by uh, bringing in memory and giving the thing memory of questions you've asked. Um, using an agent to find information you haven't seen before. But anyway, we wanted to focus on embeddings in this video and um, maybe we'll try a different vector store in the future, but I think Superbase is great, especially with Langchain because I'm already using it for a database and I'm using it for a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay, all right guys, we'll leave it there. I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, let me know what kind of stuff you'd like to see and if you have any questions. And remember the Langchain docs are constantly changing. So if you get a little confused, um, hit me up on Twitter or maybe look on the GitHub repo. You could probably get some answers in the issues there. Okay. Thanks guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.